Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got the new release from Clearly Besotted to share with you. All of these items that I'm sharing will be available to purchase today. That's the 5th of April 2021 at 8pm at British Summertime. You can purchase them from the Clearly Besotted shop and also from Simon Says Stamp. You can purchase the sets separately but you can also purchase the sets as one big bundle. You do get a discount off of the price and also some free gifts as well but that is is only available directly from Clearly Besotted. So as I usually do, I'm gonna share the new release with you and also the samples that I have made as a design team member. So the first set here is Shoot for the Stars. This is such a fun set. You've got all of these adorable critters on their shooting stars. They can be flying in the sky. You've got extra stars there, also the planet there and kind of like the galaxy as well. Some really fun sentiments, things like yippee, dream big and shoot for the stars to my little superstar when it rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for stars best wishes we uh, wish upon a star i think it's a great set for lots of different occasions and I decided to make a tag and a card uh, just because basically I fell in love with this set. So for both of my projects, I did create some backgrounds, kind of like a galaxy type background with some distress inks, splattered on a load of white paint for kind of like the smaller stars, stamped out the images from the set, um, coloured them with Copic markers and fussy cut those out. I did add some kind of like white gel pen, kind of like, like it was kind of... I don't know the word like um, glittering in the light I suppose um, I'm not sure it works that well but um, I did do that and then I heat embossed the sentiment as well and then for the tag I basically did the kind of same thing added the sparkles with the gel pen um, did the distress inking in the background stamped the sentiment there and heat embossed that and this is one of the clearly besotted tag along die sets Next up is the Look for Rainbows set, another adorable set. So there's all of these turtles here with their umbrellas that are in the shapes of rainbows, which is really cute. Although they are umbrellas, I think you could probably get away with not doing like a rainy day scene, I think, with this with this set as well but there is like a landscape that you can have with the tree there the palm tree and the raindrops there is also separate raindrops and puddles and things so you can create some really fun scenes with this set some great sentiments things like i think you're totally awesome look for rainbows you are stronger than the storm celebrate just a fun all-round set i didn't get a chance to use it this month i completely ran out of time but i'm hoping to be able to use this soon Next up is the Colour My World set, another adorable set. I do apologise for using the same term, but they are just so, so cute. So this is filled with lots of different chameleons. I love how they're drawn, kind of like kawaii sort of anime style. So, so cute. There is the one on top of the world there, the one on the paintbrush, the one on the like half a rainbow, the leaf, the full rainbow, and then one just sitting as well. So, so cute. I love their eyes. And there is some really great sentiments that you can kind of mix and match. I really love that they have included the two different ways of spelling color and color, which is really great. Some sets do just focus on the one and like here in the UK, for example, and Australia and Canada, I believe. There may be some other countries as well. We spell it with a U, so. <laughs> It's quite nice having both of those on the sets. So things like colour my world, live in full colour, colour outside the lines, you are one in a chameleon, never change, thanks a chameleon, you've got things like hugs, hey you, hi, um, thanks. So it's a really great kind of all round set that can be used for lots of different occasions. And so this is the card that I made using that set. I kept it very simple, as you can see. I stamped out the chameleon on the rainbow, coloured him with Copic markers with the rainbow as well. I added those kind of like sparkly bits on it again and fussy cut that out, simply added that onto a panel that's been cut with a reverse confetti die. And then the sentiment is from the next set that I'm gonna share with you. So this is the Brighter Day set. This is a really great set because you've got not only a really nice kind of landscape as a background, but there's also lots of really fun sentiments in this set as well. Things like, I use this sentiment, thinking of you brightens my day, but there are lots of fun sentiments. Things like, it's okay to put things off until tomorrow or next week. 
don't throw in the towel it only creates more laundry don't give up on your dreams keep sleeping um, it's not being lazy if you can't be bothered but some just kind of general sentiments as well things like it will get better take care be kind some really kind of encouraging sentiments and I did use the landscape on this set as well but I'm going to share the next set with you because I did combine them both and this is the freshwater friends set there's a lovely kind of um, landscape kind of background that you, as well with the waterfall it's just so so pretty with the rainbow there as well but I did decide to use that other one but they both work really nicely with all these critters so you've got the otters there the beavers and the little kind of unicorns or horses just they're just so so cute and the fish there that can be jumping out of the waterfall but you could use those separately as well some really great sentiments again things like um, I would be utterly lost without you and then you've got things like to my significant otter um, you're you're gruesome for the beavers there and um, believe in yourself you are magical just yeah like I said a really great set that can be used in lots of different ways and so I did combine them both onto my card here stamped out that kind of landscape there colored that with Copic markers and then stamped out the otters separately fussy cut them out and added them on top and then heat embossed the sentiment there I thought it was a really cute kind of scene like I said can be used in lots of different ways I did stamp out and color the little unicorn there I had planned to put her in this scene but the colors didn't quite work for me so I used the otters in the end instead so I'm hoping to use her on something else because she's absolutely adorable <laughs> And then last but not least, this is the Zoom In Party set and this year and last year have definitely proved that kind of Zoom and kind of like virtual hangouts have been really really helpful to be able to keep in touch with friends and loved ones so this set is perfect for that. You've got all of these different kind of computer screens with the critters inside although they are depicting like a zoom type thing a lot of them just are in rectangles so you could definitely use these in lots of different ways not necessarily for kind of like zoom parties and stuff just a really great all-round kind of cute sort of scenes inside the rectangles there but there are some sentiments that kind of depict that kind of um, feeling so like let's party like it's 2020 let's celebrate virtually got things like sending smiles across the miles and then there's like the speech bubble there and the little kind of uh, microphone and things like that just a really cute set and this is the card that I made using that set I stamped out one of the computer screens masked that off and then stamped out the other and then masked them both off and just did some kind of light ink blending in the background stamped out the cute little speech bubbles there added those on top with a little bit of foam tape and uh, copic colored the kind of scene and then stamped out the sentiment below and i thought it was really good because you could use this set not just kind of like for birthdays but just for general kind of celebrating type occasions as well so that's quite nice just to have that kind of sentiment and you can use it for lots of different occasions and then maybe like inside you could say happy birthday or congratulations or something like that so that was a look at the April release from Clearly Besotted for 2021. Links to the products will be in the description bar on YouTube and also over on my blog. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the release. I think it was a really great kind of more kind of encouraging type um, release which is really good because we need a lot of cards like that at the moment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.